me here to Edgar Street is uh, Ryan Green, um, interim player manager. What did you make of the, the match overall today? Match overall, first 10 minutes, I thought we were absolutely on fire. Um, I thought we were going to, you know, there's only one win at that point. But um, as soon as they scored, it looked like we crumbled a little bit. And, um, and then, to be honest, we went the races. We were trying things too much and uh, it just didn't work off. But, you know, to be honest, the lads give me 100%. Can't ask for nothing more, and uh, just one of them days. I think um, you know we've got a few suspensions, injuries, which uh, you know it's been a it's been a hard week for everyone because everybody like Beads and, and Jenks, and uh, we, myself, behalf of the team, want to wish them uh, all the best in the future. They've been brilliant. Um, they've done a great job at the club. They can leave their heads held high as legends. So uh, so we, we wish them luck as, as a team. Yeah. So um, with regards to the game, like I said, first goal, and then we we, we crumbled. Simple as that, really. Yeah, it was a two goals in three minutes. That seemed to really rock you back. Yeah, it did because the first ten minutes is only one winner, um, and then you know the first goal, and the second too easy as well. So uh, it's one of the games after that. I thought we tried to force too many things, and uh, nothing paid off. But if I score my header, which hit the crossbar, the game changes. It's uh, it's about five minutes in this game, and uh, it's just one to be today. There were chances for Hereford. I seem to remember Harry White as well, denied by the goalkeeper. Yeah. So there were chances for you to get back into the match. We had chances, yeah. If Harry scores that again, the game changes. So uh, it's about putting the ball in the net. That's the name of the game. And uh, it didn't happen for us today. What can you and Gareth do, do you think, to actually re instill a little bit of confidence? Yeah, we've got to get confidence in the lads. You know, it's been, like I said, it's been a tough week with uh, Bees and Jenks leaving. We've just got to keep their heads up, keep, uh, keep everyone happy. And uh, first thing now is get uh, bodies on the pitch because uh, I picked a patella tendon injury. Um, I don't know how long that's going to be. It could be a week, it could be a month. Uh, Billy's got a little knock. Lance, we want to start Lance today, but he's struggling. Suspensions, obviously, so it's tough times. But uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure we'll bounce back. Uh, and it's difficult for me to ask you this because you've just come in, but have you begin been given authority to go out and look for, for loan players or is it a case of, sorry, lads, you've got to work with what you've got? Um, we haven't asked that question to be honest. So it's on uh, Thursday, it's been a short, short notice. On Thursday, we had enough players, but now you know we might have the, have the chat for next week because uh, we're running short now. Because it sounds to me, without those, you, you down probably not even able to name a, a bench. Exactly, might have bring some of the youth boys in, but um, what will be will be. So uh, we'll speak to the board and then see what we can do. How much of a challenge is the FA Cup? Forget this today. You've obviously yeah. got to work on, you know, what you can do between now and then to build up and boost things for the cup because you know, as you well know FA Cup round here everybody goes a bit loopy yeah, it's, it's massive the FA Cup round here um, obviously everybody wants a, a good run in the cup uh, like last season but we'll see everyone will be up for it everyone will give 100% again so uh, hopefully get the win okay thanks for your time thank you very much